Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. We're still tracking Pakistan. It's more drama than we signed up for. Imran Khan's candidates have come on top, but they cannot form the government. They're not a party. Nawaz Sharif has a party with the most number of seats, but he cannot form the government because he doesn't have enough seats. Coalition talks are on, so our protests and court cases may follow. We'll try to make sense of the mess for you. For India, the day began with good, with good news. Eight Indians who were on death row in Qatar have been pardoned. Most of them are back home. It's a win for India's quiet diplomacy. Meanwhile, Chinese companies in India are complaining. The likes of Xiaomi are under scrutiny. Paytm too for the Chinese money in it. In Indonesia, the stage is set for the world's biggest single day election ever. In Israel, Prime Minister Netanyahu wants to storm Rafah. What's his strategy and why aren't his allies on board? Donald Trump has spoken about NATO. Europe is worried. The White House has called him unhinged. Myanmar has made military service compulsory as the junta struggles against the rebels. West Africa's most stable democracy, Senegal, is witnessing chaos after the postponement of elections. Elon Musk wants to colonize Mars. And how does science explain Monday blues? Also, how do you find motivation? We'll discuss that. The headlines first. The Netherlands to stop delivering parts for the F-35 fighter jets to Israel. These planes are being used by Israel to bomb Gaza. A Dutch court says it could amount to breaking international law. The ruling sided with human rights groups who have accused Israel of violations. After France, India launches UPI, Unified Payments Interface Services in Sri Lanka and Mauritius. Prime Minister Modi joins the launch virtually along with his Mauritian counterpart and Sri Lankan president. Today, rupee cards were also introduced in Mauritius. Another blow to the opposition in India before the election, former Maharashtra Chief Minister Ashok Chavan leaves the Congress party. He's likely to join the ruling BJP. Chavan is the last leader, latest leader rather, to dump the Congress just months before the election. The Democratic Republic of Congo beefs up security at embassies. On Saturday, protesters targeted cars belonging to embassies and the United Nations. They accused the West of supporting M23 rebels in the conflict-ridden East. U.S. Defense Chief Lloyd Austin hospitalized again. Austin, who is battling prostate cancer, was admitted to the critical care unit. On Sunday, he transferred his duties to his deputy. Austin has come under fire for keeping his previous hospital stays a secret. And US President Joe Biden joins TikTok before the election. This is despite the White House banning government agencies from using the app. TikTok is owned by Chinese firm ByteDance. It has been accused of spying for Beijing. 